Hey guys and welcome back to the latest episode of Sandship here. Today we're taking a dive into efficient circuit production. We're going to be showing you our method that we've come up with, which is a really high output fitting entirely in your level 5 micro factory. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Now in order to unlock the circuits, you're going to need to get to level 11 where you unlock the electronics assembler and the circuit board themselves. Now these are a bit more of a challenge because they require two inputs. We're used to one input primarily for a lot of these materials, but we're starting to get a bit more complex now and it requires a bit more out of the box thinking. So with that being said, let's jump straight into our sandbox where we're going to show you exactly how to make this. Feel free to design along as we build this and add this into your own sand chip design. Other than that, let's get started. So as we mentioned, this is going to take two different inputs to create the circuit boards. We're going to need copper wire and iron plates. So we're going to just focus on the copper wire production to start off with. So we place our synthesizer down, split this off, heat these up and get the plates going and then swing these around. In order to maximize the space, we're going to have this going back on themselves before we turn them into rods and then we're going to split them again so we've got four lanes of wires. Because of the nature of the circuit boards we're going to need a lot of wire production in order to maximize the output so it's important that we have a nice steady supply. So that's the first set of wires crafted. We're just going to add another lane here to make sure there's no deficit and we can keep that production nice and stable. And in order to maximize the amount of space, we're gonna be using some underground belts here and that'll allow other parts of the design to still have enough room to be made. So that's that first half of the design complete, guys. Next, we're gonna start placing down our electronic assemblers. We're gonna place three down at the bottom and two down at the top. And then in order to feed the materials in, we're going to need some grabbers. If you haven't unlocked fast grabbers yet, don't worry. As with all our designs, you can use standard grabbers. However, please note that the output will be slightly less until you do unlock them at level 15. Now we've got our electronic assemblers in place, we're going to need to be able to export them. So we're just going to put a grabber down at the bottom here. And we're going to put two long grabbers to capture the other two at the bottom. And we're going to put two long grabbers again at the top to export all into the same exporter. Now that's going to save a lot of space because we're only using one exporter for four electronic assemblers. So on to the plate production now. I'm going to put a synthesizer down in this bottom right corner, split them off, heat them up and press them into plates. Much easier system than the wires and that's going to feed those first three grabbers. Now in order to feed these last two, we're going to put another set of iron plate production onto the top here and that'll be sufficient to get those going. Now we've got a bit more space to play with on the right hand side here, so we're just going to add another couple of lanes of wire production. As we said at the start, these materials are heavily reliant on wires, so it's nice to have a nice steady supply and we've got just enough room to add this in. Going to split those off, heat them up again before turning them into the wires. And this is why every tile of space counts. I'm just going to underground belt these so we can get them onto the correct side for the grabbers to feed into the electronic assemblers. And just because it gives us a little bit more output, we're going to put a long grabber here to grab the plates and transfer them to the top side. So if all is well and good, we're going to give this a roll and check out the production. 3.8 circuit boards per second, guys. How about that? All inside one little micro factory. We're almost producing four circuit boards per second. This is a fantastic amount, such a tight little bit of space that we've utilized here. So if you are struggling with your circuit board production, feel free to copy this design and put it in your sand ship. Now we're gonna export it and then place it into our micro factory now. But beware, currently, if you try to save a blueprint with underground belts in at the moment, it will crash the game due to a, an error. So what we're gonna do instead is just remove the underground belts so they don't cause any crashing issues. And then we're gonna save the blueprint and then put them in when we come back around. It's gonna cost you approximately 70K, but if you are at the stage where you've unlocked circuits, you should be producing a nice amount of coins anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. So let's go ahead and save this and export it into our micro factory. Okay, so let's go ahead and place this down. 
and connect up the underground belts that we've just removed in order to get the factory operational. Switch it on and we can see we're producing at the moment 3.77. There is from time to time slight fluctuations with the output. Sometimes when you switch it on it might be 3.8, might be 3.77 as we can see here. Nothing to worry about but we can start to see those circuit boards filling up really quickly into our transit van and we're never going to be in short supply of these again in the future. We do hope this setup has helped you guys. We'll be back next time with more sand chip designs, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you never miss an update. But until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.